playing some egg row. Solid mulligan. Need to have a basic. Our ideal start, so we're going sec or we're going first, so this is not exactly what this deck wants to do. But we are looking to shut off items on the first turn of the game. So far, this hand's pretty bad. Our opponent's rocking some really sweet sleeves and deck box. This is very expensive on this client. But it looks really pretty, so you got it, opponent. And Snack Search, this is probably some kind of a doll style type deck. Oh, is this is this a shock lock type deck? Yeah, Alolan Grimer. No, this is like Cincino Control, isn't it? It is a shock lock. Nice. I like that. I'm a huge fan of this opponent's archetype. I need to make sure at the end of this I keep track of if they have their deck shareable because I would love to get a look at their list. Okay, so I can item lock here. I think that's good enough because I think our opponent kind of screwed up. So if we get, okay, yeah, we can only get one type of card. Yeah, we can get this. Do we get Rowlet? No, no, we can get another Oddish. Now this is a waste of this energy, but we can we can item lock, and us item locking is probably good enough because they've already gotten rid of their Alolan Grimer. There's a chance they don't even play Ditto. Okay, so they can get it back with Munchlax. I really need them to whiff Munchlax for like at least this turn. No. Well, they just filled up their bench. Yeah, because we can Sonya go get some energies. Pretty sure we just start equipping here. Yeah. And then they don't have any way to take any knockouts, so I guess we just go get this. Uh, next turn, we are going to Steven's Resolve because we need to get... I don't think they have a way to get this thing out of the active. Unless they run AZ. 
Yes, Steven's Resolve. So we're going to get a chance to Steven's Resolve too. We're going to go get some energy because we just want to put it on Rowlet and Alolan and we're just going to start taking some attacks. I don't know how our opponent stops us from attacking. So far they haven't played any Pikachus and their bench is locked. We pro this is probably right. Like, I really hate not going and getting energy here. Guaranteed. Okay, we found one. Sweet. Okay, we found Stadium. Stadium's good. And now we're going to Super Growth. Go get another Item Lock Vile Plume. And then pass turn. So that shuts off Munchlax. So now they can't go get... They're a Lolan Grimer, which they've already had the option to get it once. And they didn't, so I don't think that's their plan. I think we just attack. Like here, I'm not really sure what's going on. Because like Silent Lab in play stops this from working. We can discard this, pick up an N, draw three. Think we just attack. Eventually, we're going to see what our opponent's planning on doing from stopping us from attacking. For what it's worth, our opponent's deck is very pretty. We have a lot of the foils. I don't think we end. I think we just... Keep drawing cards. They have to be getting close to doing something about uh, us attacking. Okay, they do have Pikachu and Raichu. Okay, maybe they prized both Pikachus or just couldn't find them. So that's going to be a game one for Eggrow. Welcome back for round two. We are playing some Eggrow on PTCGO. Playing against a Michelle. This is a pretty good hand. I wish I was going second, but that's... Always with this deck. I wish I was going second. Jirachi. So we want to go get Cynthia and Caitlin. I think we just want to draw cards next turn. Or we can get Guzman Hala and it guarantees an energy for us. I 
I think we want Cynthia and Caitlyn because we want we want Decidueye in this matchup because this is probably ADP. We have Mallow and Lana, so worst case we can get this thing back into the active if they Guzma. If they waste their turn putting our Oddish back in the active, we can just AZ it or Guzma it or Mallow and Lana. We have a bunch of different ways to get it out of the active. I'm pretty sure ADP is a pretty good matchup for the stack. We basically want to set up a single Decidueye, and then we just want to pass turn. We just want to have one Decidueye in play. Because if they can't gust around it, they can't win. Okay, it is ADP. So this turn, we're most likely going to be shutting off items, which will hopefully buy us some time. Them not having a scooter to get this thing out of the active would be great. A skateboard. Switch. Damn. We're going deep. So when they hit on this jerk or the Zacian, I need them to not hit three energy. That's the goal here. If their plan was to Dedene, I don't think this is right at all. Unless they're not playing double dragon energy. For budgetary reasons, they might not be. I don't think they're expensive, but some people only only play with what they can find. And we don't really have a ranked ladder on here. There's a certain kind of ELO system, but it's not always the best. Okay, okay, we got some metal energy going. I agree, I think you need to play as many items as possible. Perfect draw. Think we want to get rid of Mallow and Lana? Put this here. Got him. Actually, does this thing do only when you play it from your hand onto your turn? Okay. Yeah, we want to do this one. We can discard this. And this. Go get an energy. And then we just want to put this thing up to Decidueye. And then if they get a knockout on this, okay. If they don't, I'm just going gonna, gonna to AZ it and then just start attacking.
Yeah, this card's pretty good. Now, if we draw an energy, I'm probably just going to Guzma up this Jirachi. Because this thing does 30 damage, and it's the only thing that can attack this Decidueye. But that would give them access to another bench space, so maybe I'll just leave it. Because 30 damage won't kill this. If they just altered creation... No, I think that's still AZ. I was going to say, there's a chance that you just super growth onto here and just item lock. Okay, now they're just going to scoop. Looking like we're against Henry 1. Winning the coin flip, we're going to go second. Playing some egg rob prison. That's a great deck, or great hand. Now, hopefully there's some kind of basic only deck like most of the format. If they are, we're probably just going to lock them out with the basics can't attack. No, they are an evolution deck. So we are going to have to go get item locker here. And then we're going to be able to get Rowlet into Decidueye. A really good draw get rid of these two let's go check and see what we have we do have one more item locker we have a rowlet i actually think that we want to do this one first the rowlet because they can involve this into Lion Rock, and then they can gust up our our item locker and take a knockout. With this, they can kill our Oddish, but we haven't lost our item locker, which is fine. We also might have wanted to just pick up this Oddish this turn. I don't know what their plan is. I mean, granted, we do have to find... That was a pretty big attack. I think we'll bring up this guy. probably bring up this guy. I just don't like bringing him up because he discards my energies if he gets out of control. But he is probably the hardest thing for them to set up. It does take three energies for them to do anything. We have our lock in play. They can't, we, neither player can play items. And then we are not able to play, or they're not able to deal damage with Pokemon V or GX. They do have, okay, this is a GX, not an EX. So they're going to be able to hit us with or a strike if they have a way to switch, which is gonna deal 140, 160 with Diantha, or Diancy.
Sounded like somebody was scraping on the bottom of their car. So this thing can deal damage to us. Any of the little evolutions can. Sweet. I think we honestly just want to go get a bunch of energies. Yeah, this is probably good. So they're going to be able to take a hit on Rowlet. I mean, I just plan on picking this thing up with AZ. Maybe I should do that next turn. That was probably super risky. I didn't realize I was confused. <laughs> well, if I would have taken 30 damage for no reason, I would have felt like such a tool. Okay. We're fine. Everything is fine. And they're just passing. Good, good. We want to hit these two. Because we want to hit the ones that can actually deal damage to us. And then even if they hit us with Drill Run, we're going to be able to attack again, take a knockout, do some serious damage to these two. Okay, this one can't attack us anymore. They're going to be able to stop us from item locking them now. But I'm pretty sure that's too far gone. Uh, maybe not. We can get rid of these two. And we're going to hit... Probably these two again. It's fine. Yep, some good old egg row. Pretty sure there's nothing our opponents can do anymore. We're too set up at this point. Almost all of these are weak to grass. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up. That's gonna be it for my video.